tell me your name and about you. Okay, so I'm Lara Marcon. Um, what do you want to know about me? Well, um, you have a great kid. I have a great kid. I have two great kids. Two have um, great kids. I have two great kids. I have a 13 year old uh, boy, he's a seventh grader, um, and a great student, and a great athlete, and a great ball player, player and a good kid. Um, and I have an eight year old girl who's a second grader. Um, who's really the star of the family. Um, who what? She is really the star of the family. Yes, she is the star of the family. Not yet an athlete, but we'll see what develops. But what I want to um, ask you yeah. is what does culture mean to you? So, um, what does it mean to me? I mean, if you asked 100 people, you'd probably get 100 answers, right? Yes. But I feel like a lot of times we limit that discussion to, you know, where were you born, uh, where did you grow up, what's your ethnic background. Um, but I, I think that culture is, um, it's fluid, you know, it's, it's, um, what I say my culture is and means to me and defines me is probably different from what I would have said 10 years ago but or you 20 do, years ago. But you would say that culture does define people. From, it gives you a foundation. Um, yeah, I don't know foundation or maybe a reference point. Okay. You know? um, Because like I said, I think it's fluid. You're always taking on new influences and experiencing new things. And maybe you, that's not part of your culture, you believe, but it gives you different, <coughs> different, um, different perspectives. Do you believe that we all become our fathers and our mothers eventually? Well, maybe. <laughs> <coughs> but that's culture. Yes. Yes. And I do think there are some really like deep seated things that like as you get older sort of come back to you like I made an expression the other day uh, Tuesday's Fool's Day have you ever heard that before no I hadn't even repeated it myself or heard it myself for 30 years and then it came up um, so I mean, I think that if you can keep an open mind and, and experience some of the fluidity and different influences, um, it doesn't have to define you, um, but it's always going to be a part. I think culture sets you up to be good, and I think culture can be very interesting as far as how open you can be, because right. we all know that cultures sometimes are very, right. very limited cultures. You can go to cults. the cults in culture. Well, well that's true. <laughs> so, and some and religion sometimes can really be very. If you don't pray like me, if you don't look like me, if you if you're not praying to God like I am, if you don't pray to the God that I pray to, so a lot of culture can 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 be very limiting sometimes. Right. So. Right. And also, people can also impose on you the ideas that they think your culture is. Like, we're Americans, and, and we might, you know, travel abroad, and people are like, oh, you Americans, you're yeah, this, but what's you're American, that. But what's American culture? Do you need to personally own that? Do I need to personally own that? That might not be my value system or my beliefs, but it is something that culturally this nation is projecting, so you're forced into a position to respond to that. So what is American culture to you? Does it because it's so diverse? I just think of so many things, especially like living in New York for 20 years. You know, I have a really hard time saying what is American culture. But one of the things that I do notice sometimes when I travel abroad is that there's these stereotypes of American culture of like Rude. cowboys and mm. cheerleaders and you know hip hop artists. Maybe, maybe, yeah, we're all rappers. I don't at all identify with. Yeah, we're know? all rappers and, yeah, we're all, yeah. and we're all John Wayne. Um, and that sort of, you know, baseball and mom and apple pie type of... Well, that's a 50s culture. I don't, necessarily, that's a 50s I don't culture. necessarily embrace that. Well, that culture was... Now, talk about a limited culture, the 50s yeah. culture, which was like all white, right. all baseball, right. all apple pie, the, you know, the blonde hair, the blue eyes picket fence and everybody lives in the suburbs right. and and uh, Eisenhower was going right. to make sure we're all good 
And then the 60s, which is what we call a right, counterculture. Up upheaval. Which is good, you know, don't yeah. trust anyone over 30. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> What's I disagree with now that I'm not an yeah, over 30? Over 30. So, so, your cult, so, do you think your culture has changed since you, your definition of culture has changed since you've come to New York? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, what was it before I New mean, York? I don't know. I, I just think that I would have defined my culture much more in terms of like, you know, this is, I was born in Allentown, Pennsylvania. My mom's from Syria. You know, I went to Smith College. I don't know. I would have defined it sort of in those specific. That's kind of limited. That's kind of limited, right? But now, like, living in New York, I just think there's so many different influences, um, different cultures and different, just different traditions um, that I've embraced. And my husband's from India, you know, so there's that. Um, so that's definitely changed my culture. Um, so it's a multicultural household. Yeah, multicultural house, and I have a big responsibility to to raise these multicultural whatever human you beings. want to call them human kids, beings, human right? beings, I was human beings. Yes, who you know, I, I don't know if I ever told you this. I'll probably cry. I asked Devin one time. He did a project on Jackie Robinson. He was not ten years old, um, eight, nine, ten, somewhere like that. And I said, "Why did you choose to do?" your project on Jackie Robinson. And he said to me, without him, I wouldn't have the opportunity to play in the MLB. Yeah. And I thought that was a really extraordinary, insightful and sensitive thing for a young kid to say. But it also was like a big wake up for me because I realized like my son identifies as a person of a color. color. Yeah. He is a different culture than I. And it is a big responsibility for me as a parent to, to parent him, to nurture what he is and, and understand that it might be different from what I am or how I grew up defining myself. My daughter too. And you know, he's 13, as you know, like it's going to be these sensitive teen years of really exploring who you are, where kids really try to embrace their background and understand their background. And yeah, so, and well, you and your husband have done a great job, though. Thank you. The great thing about, I think, culture is the fact that no matter it's, 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 um, you can get good out of it, like, like your son. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Well, thank you for talking You're to welcome. me. You're welcome. All right. I, I hope you like it. Thank you. All right.